Jay Bum gave us exactly what we needed. We were a little bit thin going into game two, and uh, he came out firing strikes, landing change ups. I was really pumped for him uh, being able to get three over for strikes. And uh, you know, his first start in his career it was very encouraging. Brock gave us a lift, <clears throat> big double. I'm lucky that it didn't bounce over. That happens literally once every five years at Halford. It's, um, we got to soften that worn track. But anyway, it was a good day. Uh, I got sloppy there at the end. Nobody's fault but my own. I haven't been over it enough. Um, but you know, those guys are good. So like I told you, you know, anybody can beat anybody on any given day. Questions? It seems like every time you guys play them recently, it ends up being a one-run game. To, to grind down two one-run wins in one day, just how pleased are you? Yeah, the more times you run into those, you know, you think back to post seasons of, in the past, it's, they're always generally close games. And the ones that are battle-tested and, you know, had those, you, know, um, you find that way to win. You, you're in the moment. And, you know, we've had clubs that got off to unbelievable starts and, you know, they never play close games. And then all of a sudden you're going against conference foes or postseason, and, you know, they've never been in it. So it is good to have them. It's good to get Ws. And um, we've got to improve and be ready for Miami. The Meister had a really good performance today. Has he kind of elevated himself into, the, himself into that conversation as well? Maybe he can go Sunday, maybe he can go Tuesday, or has he always been there, or did he just step into the conversation tonight because you were thin? Well, he, he was built up to be, you know, a possibility. But I think he, you know, 65, 70 pitches is what Max he had thrown. I don't know what we got out of 63 today. Uh, so, yeah, and, you know, you get to the ACC tournament, you know, and it's an odd starting time. If you get one of those Wednesday games, you know, somebody's got to throw there. Your four would go in that spot. So, um, you know, it, it's a good problem to have. You know, I'm glad he got his first one. And, uh, how does that work, Steve? So you get the W in a seven inning game? Yeah. We gave it to him. Okay. I like it. <laughs> jo Jonah, I think, threw a career high tonight. Just his flexibility and the way he can do so many different guys for you, just how, how, how valuable is that? Yeah, and he's got one of those arms, that, you know, the bounce back arm. Uh, the change ups made him a, a different guy. Jonah is a tough at bat. They want um, you know, four pitches for strikes and, you know, field his position. And, Composure and all the things that he has, uh, it makes him, you know, a weapon. And it doesn't matter right-handed, left-handed. We don't, we don't even worry about that with him. When you can give so many opportunities to some of these guys you bring out of the bullpen, starting them in midweek games, and you know, in these critical, you know, one one score games, uh, what can that do for your bullpen and, and uh, to give them confidence and? help them on those weekend games. Well, you can just refer back to it. You know, we talk about the mental side of competition. And, you know, when they have success and, like, Jay Bomb gets another start, you know, the first thing that's going to be told to them is think back to start against Jacksonville. And, um, you know, the, the way you went about it, your routine, and, you know, the way it made you feel and learn from it and grow from it. Um, you know, more times we can get those young pups out there, you know, the better off we're going to be in the end. Yeah. You the threw in the press box that Hines didn't hit, I think, what was it, even the third most times in a single season. Is there kind of a running joke in the dugout with how many times he gets hit by pitch? Did you, did you all know the number was that high? I know it's a lot. Um, and that is something that, you know, it's contagious and it wins. You know, you try to get guys on base any way that you can get them on base. I know Jose Zavala was a teammate of mine. He had a, a bundle of them. Um, you know, that it's something that it, if you, if they know they can't go inside. If they miss just a little bit, they're not moving and they're going to you know, plunk them. So uh, then you know where the pitch is going to be. You middle away and you know, be ready to hit. So, um, you know, Jaime's a special talent. You know, he's a tough nut. His body can withstand it. You know, he's got that the big bones and he's durable. There's some guys I don't want them getting, getting smoked. So I'm um, glad he's with us. The second game, you go and throw AJ, IP, and, and Brock in the lineup and they all produce for you. Just for guys to be ready like that at any moment, how encouraging is that? Very, very encouraging. And, you know, it doesn't go unnoticed. Those guys are really, their teammates in the dugout are really excited for them, you know, because they've been pulling hard as they can for uh, the guys that have been getting most of the playing time. And now it's their turn. And, you know, 
just ramps things up a little bit. We liked our matchup with the left-hander, and uh, you know we got got to live from them. Right, Thief smoked one to right center, and um, you know, stole a base, got a base hit somewhere. <laughs> you know, well, he beat that ball out. That's right, and um, it is. It's, it's good to have. Brock, Brock's. It was it today was his 24th birthday. Have an older guy like that, and uh, what has he added to this team? He's a fun-loving guys love to be around him. Um, he's knowledgeable, been around the block. Nothing you know, scares him, phases him. He's um, he's been an absolute joy to, to coach. I wish I had him longer, than just one year, but he's just brought a lot to the clubhouse. And, you know, I can't say enough about all the, the guys that we brought in. They've all meshed and you know, understood that you got to be ready when your time is called. And for them to have success was. Fantastic. Another guy you, you brought in, Alex Terrell. Um, we talked about how he's kind of like a, a coach, a second coach out there. How will he? How does he kind of handle these bigger games like this coming weekend against Miami? Like, what? How does he treat it? Is it any different? Um, and and how can he kind of gather the guys to, to kind of follow his lead there? I'm gonna I'm gonna you know on Thursday I'm gonna sit down with him. Um, I did it with Jordan. You know I said. Look, this is this is a game that we're playing. That you, it's a thinking man's game. And if you get so caught up, you can't think. I can't play you. And you know, I'm gonna have that same conversation with Alex. I don't, I don't want him, uh, you know, chatting it up. I don't you know, listening to what comes out of their dugout. Um, you know, I don't know what to really expect, but you know, he can handle a lot, and I'm not too concerned about it. He's a very mature guy. Your last one. Davis, both games came in the six with, with runners on, and it seems like all year he's been really good with inherited runners. Just just what makes him so good in, in those big moments? Yeah, we we like to go to him when you know punch outs are needed, and um, you know we got to get the location of the fastball. But when he gets hit, it's the, every time it's the fastball. So I don't know if he's tipping or if it's strictly location, but Jimmy and, and him will get it fixed because um, he's he's so. When he locates, he's dominant. You know, and if they don't know the fastball is coming, he's dominant. So, um, but you know, he was frustrated. And, um, you know, but again, we put him in situations that you know, he went punch punch when he, we brought him into the game or popped the guy up, got a punch, and you know, hung in there. But um, you know, he's just a weapon. He come in and get you with exactly what you need.